when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Big massive heavy pedal board, so now I'm gonna be out of breath because we did that crypt shot. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm holding this big massive board or wedge of win is that over the past couple of clinics I've done and the last few gigs we've done, um, a lot of people are saying like, "What is that massive wedge of win? And why have you got a multi effects and other stuff instead of just using this, which you kind of could do?" But um, and so I explain it, and then someone else asks me, and I explain it again. And not that I'm fed up with people asking me that; it's, it's all cool. I love talking about pedals and stuff, but I'm lazy like that. So as we are a YouTube media, we thought, well, baby said, well, why don't you just make a video and explain it, and then you can just point them to the video when they ask you the question, which is why we're doing this video. So we're going to talk about kind of the routing options of it all, and how and why I've decided to have additional bits of flavour and not just run everything out of this because this is kind of able to do it but there's certain things that just it won't do like it does a great tube screamer really well the drive pedals actually are quite good in HD500 but they're just not this and what is this? this is an ODX1 or 1X I can't remember which way it goes but it's it's an OD1X is that the fella? yeah yeah he's yellow and he is the best drive pedal I've ever heard is that, is that legit? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't... Man, I, I would just use this. I'm not doing this. This isn't a vanity project. This is like, I can't get... that. It's fat, dude. Well, go and check the review out, which we've done already, and you'll hear it. It's just proper fat drive pedal. Um, And then there's this super awesome drive pedal as well. So this kind of replaces my crunch channel, if it need to. Then if I'm in a funky kind of clean situation, this side of the pedal of the um, VSXO drive pedal gives me my like cleaned boost and it gives me loads of different things. Again, we've reviewed this so you can go and check that out on the channel. Um, and this gives me more of a vintage overdrive. This is quite a modern OD, I think um, a little bit more kind of fat sound and this is very vintage so it sounds like ACDC kind of old plexi amp tone. But we've reviewed that as well. Um, so, Bibby thinks it's a complete waste of time having all of these additional... <laughs> I don't think it's a waste of time. I just think you've failed to grasp the concept of a multi-FX unit. So you have this enormous HD500X, which, to be fair, you know, is the size of a small hatchback. And the whole point of that is that it replaces... A load of pedals so that you don't need an enormous pedal board yeah but what you've then done is buy a really really big pedal board it's pretty big. It's a fat boy. and then you've bolted that as well as miscellaneous pedals and i mean just look at the size of that wah that's a pretty big wah that's for like people who've got corrective shoes me <sighs> Anyway, rickets, there's obviously a method to your madness. <laughs> there is, and we're going to discuss that method. Well, and we're going to be helped along by some type of zombie scientist who's going to point out the correct path for in front of amp and out of effects loop of an amp. So it's going to be informal and informative, communicative, but, um, but casual. That's what it's going to be. So, right, the reason I have this and these, I love the drives in this, but I don't think it's good as that. Or this, these are very, very good drive pedals. As is this, which we will get onto in a bit. This is my guest pedal slot, so many pedals will live there. In this case, it's a drive um, by the guys over at Green Pedal um, Company, which is just a brilliant. The awesome green carrot. Pedal. Green carrot, as I said, green pedal. You did say green, green pedal. pedal carrots. So those guys sent us over this kind of Cornforth style, plexi style drive which we're going to review very soon, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, so let's talk about the effects chain, let's look at how I've got this set up. So, my wireless goes into my wah, 
and that is this weird kind of flat thing. I normally use Planet Waves cables, but I had to use this because it's flat, so it'll fit into the case. If not, I just run a cable into this, bypassing the wire, uh, bypassing the um, the wireless, which is the G50 by Line Six, which is awesome. I used to use Sennheiser wirelesses, but this is definitely well better. Plus, it's the size of a pedal, so it fits on this. Well, anything will fit on this massive board, <laughs> but it's it's comfy. Um, so that goes into the wire, then I come out of the wire into the ODX, then out of the ODX into the XO, then out of the XO into my guest pedal of choice, out of my guest pedal of choice into the HD500, which then splits that via the effects loop. So I tell my HD500 to put the effects loop so all of these pedals are pre-effects loop into the HD500. Then I put an effects loop block in there, and then all of my other time-based effects that are being driven by the HD500, my reverbs, delays, um, octavers, EQs, because I like to run EQ post um, amp rather than preamp. Um, but that's just me. And again, this is all complete here. It's like my preference. You can do whatever you want to do. It sounds good. It is good. But this is how I do it wrongly. Um, and then from there, that goes out to one amp um, effects loop, and then the right will go to my right amp if I'm running a stereo rig. If I'm not running a stereo rig, it just goes one out to the amp effects loop. If I haven't got an amp, I'll emulate some amps in here, with the closest I can get to Laney Ironheart, or a clean tone, maybe something like a Fender or something. And then this rig is everything. It's my amps, it's my effects, and it's the effects that I know and love. It's not my pedals will react a certain way to the amps within here, so it's not like I have to set up a whole new patch with a whole new set of drives or anything. I always get the tone out of these pedals that I've always had because they're consistent, so that's brilliant. Um, and that's that's the routing. Um, so what we'll do most probably at some point is look at like kind of hearing how these all sound but you'll hear them in the demos anyway when we're demoing different guitars and doing different stuff um so if i've got a clean channel on this is my proxy crunch channel so this will be kind of what my rhythm channel is on my amp so this will kind of just be a slightly different sounding rhythm channel then, if I'm clean, I can get a clean boost from the VS, VS, uh, the XO. Then, if I cascade these both together, I get a very vintagey version of the, the Boss. If I run just one of them, I get just a, a good, fat, chunky tone, or I get just a clean boost. Then, I've got my rhythm channel on my, on my, clean, uh, my rhythm channel on my um, Ironheart, which is kind of a, a bigger sound to what I've got with those pedals because it's, you never have too many drives man and then my lead channel is just a boosted version of that for about 10 dB just so it cuts above the mix plus there's a lot more mids in the lead channel as well and that just cuts through and and that's it really oh and then this which is dead important the um, Boss noise suppressor the NS2 this is just a miracle pedal if without this Everything just goes like a torn ton. Is that what torn ton sound like? That is kind of what torn ton sound like. What was that big massive white fella that put Luke in the ceiling? What was he called? Uh, uh, yeah, I him. stumped you with Star Wars. Trivia. It will come to me in a minute. If it doesn't come to you, you guys got to comment in the post. Below. I want to say Wumper. Oh, I don't think it was a Wumper. Yeah. Uh, if Bibby's wrong. Let us know in the yeah. comments, let us know what that big fellow's called. But anyway, so, and he's white as well, so this is the one, I'm going to call it the Wampa. It is, man, it, it definitely is Wampa, because yeah. I'm thinking it's the Wampa Ice Cave. Was it the Hoth Wampa? Was it well, yeah, Hoth's the planet they're on, yeah, yeah. and he's in the Wampa Ice Cave. It's a bit like Sarlacc Pit Monster, <laughs> which is the name of my grindcore band. Anyway. We digress. Speaking of corn holes, <laughs> we've got this corn pedal, we've mentioned that before. So the NS um, by Boss totally clamps down all your noise. Now, loads of people are over an hour and whether a decimator is better, whether the MXR is better. Do you know what? To you, they might be. But to me, 
the fact that I've got an effects loop on this pedal is awesome. So what happens is, when I run these pedals into here, before they go into here, if you go through this noise suppressor, the effects loop then goes to my amp, comes back and goes back into here, because I've got an effects return. So I come into the input, out of the send, to my HD500, into the return, and out of the output, into the effects loop of the amp, and it clamps all of the noise from all areas of the amp. Um, not that the Iron Heart is a noisy amp, but the electricity in my room is completely hideous. So when I play in the studio, I get a load of hideous noise. This completely gets rid of it, and it doesn't suck tone, and it doesn't alter your, your dynamics. It's brilliant. It, to me, it could be the best pedal on the board, just because it does exactly what you need it to do. So that's it guys, um, so we're going to have our little zombie friend just kind of look over possible effects routing options, whether you're running a multi-effect, whether you're running pedals, or whether you're running both. And that's it, so if you want to see this and you want to hear it, like, give us a comment, like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and we can keep doing this for you, and it's just a pleasure to maybe only have to talk about my pedal world once, <laughs> again, because... But if you see me, ask me about it. Don't think I'm an unapproachable kind of guy. And thanks to everyone involved. Ah, why is it so neat? <laughs> I heard you ask that question. It's so neat because of this. What is this? This is a cable station by Planet Waves. And it allows me to cut, twist, and screw. Well, once did, what more do you need? And look, you can, you can actually levitate your pedals in a white universal plane by using those pedal things. And look how neat that is. Just come in, come in and see how neat that is. Uniformed. Not so OCD now. Ha. Buttons that match. And Kate and that matches as well. And cables that just look rad. So thanks to Planet Waves for all of that good gubbins. Dead easy to do as well. I made all of those cables in about five minutes. Perfect length. Sweet. Anyway, guys, we will see you next time with shit like sounds, not just me talking about massive pedal boards. Peace. <laughs>